What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lady, and I am back with another video. Look at this head. Look at this her. Look at this her. Don't nobody want to do. Y'all already know what it is. Um, If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come soon in. You feel me? If you've already been here, thank y'all for coming back. I appreciate the support. Honestly, I appreciate it. But um, I just want to go ahead and talk to y'all. It was on me like real heavy, you know. And y'all finna get this word. Somebody around this world, maybe a couple people need this word and i just want y'all to know that if you got time to worry you got time to pray so even though know everything ain't all good everything ain't all bad if you still live you still breathing you still got something to live for so make sure you keep your head up don't don't be stressing about nothing don't be tripping on nothing don't be worried about nothing because if you believe in the higher power, you're going to be all right. You are going to be all right. Like I said, if you got time to worry, you got time to pray. Pray about it. Talk to God. Scream, yell. Do what it, do whatever you got to do. But don't kill yourself, being yourself down about something that God's going to fix. Might not come when you want it, but he'll be there right on the sign. Believe that. Might not come when you want it. Be that right on time. It don't matter what the situation is. No matter. Pray by yourself. Pray with somebody, with your significant other, your grandma. It don't matter how you want to go about it. But just start praying. And pray every day. Don't just pray whenever you need something. No. You want God to do something for you. No. Pray every single day. And it's going to turn around. And it's going to turn around for the better. For you, for your family, for your children. Because when I when I pray, I be I pray for family that I ain't never even met. My extended family, my close-knit family, anybody around the world, everybody around the world. It don't matter who they're homeless, addicted to drugs, you know. Just, man, pray for everybody. But... Don't leave yourself out. You got to pray for you too. Keep your head up. Like I said, I don't know who needed to hear it, but sometimes I be needing to hear it. So I know somebody else need to hear it. And I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. In the long, whatever don't kill you, gonna make you stronger. And yeah, that's just what it is. You gonna get through it. You are gonna get through it. You just gotta have that mindset. Like, man, I can handle this. I was built for this. I'm made for this. God gonna walk me through. I ain't doing it by myself. Might feel like it, but you gonna be alright. You gonna be alright, I promise you. But, yeah... I just want to give y'all a little word of the day. Because. I don't been. I'm going through. I don't been going through something for long. For months. Months and months and months. And I still smile. Keep a smile on my face. And I don't even let it bother. It might. It might bother me you know. I might bend. But I ain't breaking. Not gonna let nothing break me down, and as long as you keep that mindset, you have that mindset, you're gonna be all right. Don't let them break you. you. Might be in a little bit twist, might get twisted, tangled up, fold a little bit, but don't break, don't let them win, don't let them win. Gotta keep your heads up and. John 14, John chapter 14. Let your, let not your heart be troubled. 
I read that all the time. I've been reading that more than ever for the past week. Letting that your heart be troubled. Because I just experienced some stuff. And that's going to change the rest of my life. The rest of my life. Until I die. So, for me not to be in a stick situation about it, I just turn to the Bible, pray to God every day, let not my heart be troubled. Yeah. And best believe, he gonna prepare that table. He gonna prepare that table. He gonna prepare that table. He gonna plant that seed. And he gonna watch it grow. You gonna watch it grow right along with him. And Tell him thank you. That's all I can say. Even in bad situations, tell him thank you. I wake up every day and I be thank you. Thank you anyway. So y'all, keep y'all heads up. And let not your heart be troubled. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember that. Give me that book or whatever, however you do. If you believe in how power, whatever how power you believe in, just keep believing and keep praying and keep going. You might be in, but you ain't going to break. As long as you're walking with the most high, you're straight. Yep, that's that's my little message that I want to tell y'all. Ooh, my edges. Look at this. Look at that. This is what you get when you let your child play in your hell. Well, anyways, I hope y'all had a good 4th of July. And yeah. Get them devils up off you. Yep, get them devils up off you. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, y'all, real quick before I end this video. Like, anything that you do should not be done in vain. So, with that being said, like, do stuff with pure intentions, with good intentions. If you out here being wicked, then, yeah, you gonna go through some, you gonna go through some things. You being wicked and wicked, what you put out is what you get back. It's a law of attraction. You do good, good should be upon you. You do bad, bad should be upon you. So don't let what you do be in vain because it's going to hurt you in the end. I promise you, it's going to hurt you in the end. And for real, for real, it don't even be worth it. It don't be it don't even be worth it, man. Get into some get into some books. Get into some something. Get in the Bible. First of all, get in the Bible. Get right with God. Cause everything go through the Father. Every single thing. Everything. But first, you gotta go through the Son. In order to get to the Father, you gotta go through the Son. So Get it right. Get it right. Get into some books. Read some books. Expand your mental. Grow your mental. Get some books to read. Something that's gonna help you. Because for real, for real, what I'm what I'm on from me to you trying to give advice. I'm still young, so I'm still learning. But I feel like I don't learn enough to like share and go out for yeah find you read get into some books to where you can learn more about financial stability businesses breaking generational curses because the way i'm trying to be i'm trying to have it stop i want generational wealth my kids 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 gonna be straight that's what i'm on 
get into something that's positive and i'm telling you like the more more the more you be out here just living just waking up just yeah i'm still here thank god i'm still here and not really doing nothing about it you know like you just gonna be stuck in the same spot but when you make that connection with god this on the spirituality level in everything that your heart desires he gonna bring it to you while you done been waiting you done ask you done ask for you done ask god for a house five years ago you ain't got it yet but when you stop dwelling on it and just wanting so bad and you just like god i want a house you ain't ready for no house yet because you ain't got them books to learn about financial stability, to learn about all these business aspects of it, like contractors who need to see um, banks with loans and all of that. Because there's a lot of stuff that come with it. About property, you need to learn about property. You need, it's a lot of stuff. If you, I'm telling you, if you want something like, it's a lot you have, you gonna have to learn before you actually give it because he's not gonna give it to you if he know you're not ready for it you gotta get ready so when the time come it won't be in vain like i said you won't be struggling for that this and that won't be happening because you know what's, what, what you're looking for so that's what i mean by like when you do stuff do it with good intentions make sure you know what you're doing and what why you're doing it like Make sure you just know what's really going on. And don't just be doing stuff because your friend got it or your brother got it or your auntie got it. Like, because auntie ain't going to come and help you when that market's due, overdue, and them people put that sign out there in your yard. No, you got to know it for yourself. You got to be prepared and do all of this by yourself. So, yeah, like, just... Yeah, give them to them books. And when I mean books, I mean Bibles. I'm a, I'm a, y'all just look up some stuff on y'all own time, cause I ain't gonna tell you what to do. You gotta do it for yourself. Thanks for watching my video. I'll be back to y'all with more videos. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you've already been here, thanks for coming back. See y'all in the next video. Peace.